Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been facing backlash after announcing the christening ceremony for their son Archie will be private one week after it was revealed the couple had used taxpayers' money to renovate their home. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry on Monday confirmed their firstborn will be christened at St. George's Chapel in Windsor on July 6, two months exactly after his birth. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex provoked outrage when Buckingham Palace confirmed the ceremony will be held in private, with royal commentators suggesting their expectation of privacy may be too high after public records showed they had used public funds to renovate their home. E. News chief correspondent Melanie Bromley said, If you really want to be a private citizen, the argument is you should not be taking money for your palaces, and your homes, and your fashion to be great. If you want to be private, then you are private and that means not taking money from the state. Previous royal christenings, including the ceremonies for Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, had a small group of members of the media to record the event and share the content with the public shortly after the ceremony. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been known to be very mindful of their privacy, keeping a tight leash on information about the Duchess' pregnancy and their plans for the future. Miss Bromley continued, The thing about these christenings, as we saw with William and Kate, their children are heirs to the throne, much higher up in the pecking order, but you give a little bit, like a bone, in exchange for taking the money and for having the privilege of being a royal. A public christening is not a big deal, it just means there's going to be one reporter, one photographer, pictures released at the time, there is B-roll released. It's not like you've got 500 people sitting in the church with you. It's a very small group that comes in and then distributes that media to the public. They're very much doing things their own way. The decision to hold a private ceremony for Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor's christening later this week was branded a PR disaster. Mr. Larcom told Good Morning Britain, My personal concern with Harry, as I say, I have known him since he was a teenager. I think he is a fantastic guy. When you see these PR disasters, week in week out, which we have increasingly seen in the past few months, I worry for Harry because I think he deserves to be incredibly popular, so does Meghan. The youngest member of the royal family is to be baptized at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle, the same spot where his parents married in last year. Senior members of the immediate family will be in attendance, including grandfather Prince Charles and his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge will also be at the service. The Queen however will not be at the christening due to a previous engagement. The monarch also did not attend the baptism of her older grandson, Prince Louis, in 2018 to prepare for an official outing. Many hoped his christening may be the first time members of the public would get to see Archie out and about with his parents, but this will not be the case. As little as 25 guests are believed to have been invited to the service which will be hidden far from public view within the walls of Windsor Castle. Official christening pictures, vetted by Harry and Meghan, will be released following the ceremony. Last week the royal chart was released to the public and revealed that Meghan and Prince Harry have spent £2.4 million worth of public money on renovating their Frogmore Cottage home on the grounds of Windsor Castle. Royal author Penny Durer slammed the couple's decision to keep the ceremony private calling it a mistake after they came under fire for spending the £2.4 million saying they can't have it both ways. She told the Times, they can't have it both ways. Either they are totally private, pay for their own house and disappear out of view or play the game the way it is played. Seeing Archie and his godparents arriving at the christening is what people are interested in.